Personally, I don't care what it's gonna take. I'm gonna figure out how the fuck to make money. Like that was all I cared about. Um, and that's what led me into this industry, into prop trading. Talking about FTMO, like people don't complain as much about their execution. They say it's pretty stable. It's obviously not utilizing plugins that are fucking people over. Only way to mitigate the small amount of people who were essentially not allowing us to move them to the A book to be for us to be profitable was to do a blanket approach where we jack up the spreads. Out of all the top prop firms online, none of them have the amount of complaints about extremely bad trading conditions that the funded trader is having. There's videos, posts, and reviews talking about the extreme cases. How has a broker either just made money or if it's a B-book broker, reduce the profitability of the traders? It's by, you know, higher spreads, higher commissions, or just execution. Thanks to Trader Buck on X and his tweet about TFT, I found many comments on the terrible slippage with the funded trader. Like this trader who was 8,000 in profits but closed only with a 5k profit. And this trader who got slipped so bad that they decided to give him a 15% discount. They blame these issues on 8cap. This is where it gets interesting. Are these issues coming from 8cap or the funded trader? The CEO has talked openly about having control over the settings. Why are they blaming 8cap? I reached out to 8cap today to hear their side of the story. I haven't received a response yet, but I uncovered something from the CEO's past. When I came to the realization that I needed to start a prop firm, it originated, and some people might know my involvement, um, I'll mention it. I was involved in this company called FXC, and it was a white label of Trader Central Fund. It was just being run so poorly, and I say that because on the back end, the way uh, people were getting accounts, like, they were not giving us access we needed to automate things the right way. Um, so the service was just really poor. There was not transparency like financially as to what, where the money was, where it was going. Um, so I was involved in that situation and I got my name kind of dragged through the mud for being involved in that, which was pretty unfortunate. We've all made mistakes. You're lying if you say you haven't. But this guy has control over the financial situation of a lot of people. I know many have put their hopes and dreams into getting funded with a prop firm. And for someone to crush their dreams by way of sabotage is heartbreaking. My message to the CEO of Funded Trader is, if things have gotten out of hand, it might be best to stop before it's too late again. <laughs>